But, you know, of course, the games and sports we love, they look different these days. While some complain about it, the ASU swimming and diving team, well, they saw this as an opportunity. Tiers Sussell explains. The future is unclear for collegiate athletics, and while many programs are waiting to see if and when they'll begin, the ASU swimming and diving team took matters into their own hands, making the decision to redshirt every member of the team this season. Last three months, the answer to every question has been, I don't know. And we had to do better than that going forward. The solution for Coach Bob Bowman was to turn their focus completely. This gives us a, a longer time to rebuild the training they've lost during the pandemic, and it's been substantial. And it gives us a focus on next summer's meets, particularly our Olympic trials and hopefully Olympic Games. More than 20 swimmers in the Sun Devils program have already qualified for the U.S. Olympic trials. Coach Bowman puts that number into perspective. Only about one half of 1% in the swimmers of the swimmers in the United States make the Olympic trials. It's a very elite status. So if you have 20 of those, they're already at the very top level. But, you know, of that percentage, probably 10% are really looking at finding a spot on that team. But the rest of them are looking at competing on the top level. So maybe down the road, they'll be able to move into that. The response to the drastic decision has been positive. And when I first pitched it to Ray Anderson, our athletic director, he gave me the same response that everybody does. It's like, whoa, what are you talking about? And then we start going through the different points. By the end, you're like, oh, well, that makes perfect sense. The response was overwhelmingly positive because it puts the athletes first. Now, the team has garnered national attention for this decision, and Coach Bowman says he has had other programs reach out to him, saying they, too, are interested in redshirting teams, but they can't quite get themselves to do it. He's hoping that'll change for the benefit of these athletes. Cherson Soussel, 12 Sports.